guys! Today we are starting a new series. We will be answering the most common JavaScript questions that are searched. Okay, today it's time for... But before we will start, remember to subscribe our channel and turn on the notifications and remember to give us thumbs up and leave a comment. Let's start! Let's talk about closures. I would like to explain you what is closure. So, imagine that we have two functions enclosed together. One is the inner function and one is the outer function. And when inner function has access to the variables of itself, and the variables of the outer functions, then we can talk about closure. But I think that the easiest will be to show you on an example. In the code that you can currently see on the screen, you have inner function and outer function. And when we will call the outer function, the console log from the inner function will return the value of our variable defined in the outer function and the result will be name Maria. However, it can also access the outer function arguments object. Sometimes it's also happened that inner function has its own argument object which overshadows the external function arguments object. Let's see the second example. The main situation when we are using closures is to return the function that returns the other function. I hope you understand closures now. 